Hello, AC. Once again, I am Miss Maudie from the Campus Ministry Office, and I am here for a short session of liturgical catechism as we observe the 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines. Did you know that the Mass in the time of the early Christians was celebrated in Latin, the language that everybody would have understood? However, as time passed and the faith spread throughout the world, the Catholic Church continued to celebrate it in Latin, which by then only a few understood. Thus, the phrase, I heard Mass, was born because that was literally what they did. They heard and watched the priest celebrate the liturgy that they barely understood and did not involve them. But with the onset of the Second Vatican Council, which was begun by Pope St. John XXIII, the Church recognized the centrality of the Eucharist in our life and moved towards getting more of the faithful to fully, actively, and consciously participate in the Mass. What does it mean to fully, actively, and consciously participate in the Mass? It means not only praying through our minds and our words, but through our entire being. So we stand, we sit, we kneel, we bow, and here in the Philippines, we even hold hands as one community. We stand to welcome Christ in the person of our priest presider, to honor the gospel, to be counted as a believer as we profess our faith, and to express our readiness to do our mission. We sit to express our openness to receive God's words as we listen to the readings and to the homily of Father. We meditate on what these words mean for us and how we can live them out day to day. During the offertory, we also sit to think about what we want to offer to God, our thanksgiving, our hopes, our joys, and even our sorrows. We kneel to express adoration and worship, especially when the priest calls down the Holy Spirit to transform the bread and wine into the body and blood of Christ. As he raises up the body and blood, we gaze at them and give Christ the worship that he deserves for giving his life for us. But in these pandemic times, there is a greater temptation to just sit, watch, and hear Mass. Even if the priest cannot see us, let us honor God by engaging fully, actively, and consciously in the celebration of the Mass. If we cannot stand to express reverence, we are encouraged to place our right hand over our heart. Even if we are on mute, we say the responses and sing along so that our entire being is engaged in prayer for communion. Let our entire being, our minds, our lips, our hearts, and our bodies be in full communion so that we may truly be a temple of God.